Hello, welcome back to First Time. In this episode, I will be reviewing the latest film from Yorgos Lanthimos, Kinds of Kindness. Unlike most people that might come across this video that are a fan of the director who have seen Poor Things, which was obviously very successful, highly acclaimed, I didn't get around to seeing it. Although I love Emma Stone, but yeah, was really wanting to see it. I don't know what happened. I got caught up in watching Zone of Interest two times. In this review, I'm not going to talk about really what the film's about. I think that would really be a spoiler, and if you have seen it, you already know. So what did I think about it? Firstly, I can say I can understand why the film has been so highly um, acclaimed again, why it's doing really well. And I'm not going to say that I particularly like the film, nor that I dislike it. It's just so unique. The story is so different, and I was trying to think about what it is. I mean, visually, and the sets and the scenes, it is completely stylized, like a lot of films are, and I like that, but that's not why it's so good. The way I can describe this film is like, it's layers, it's like a window within a window. It's all of these scenes that as a viewer you're watching, you know, based off we all have a what is normal, whether it's in real life or in cinema, they kind of relate or what is expected to be normal with, within cinema that could be different from reality. This is not like any of that. It's what is inappropriate. And then layered onto that, in this inappropriate scene, what would be inappropriate in that inappropriate scene, like a window within a window. And it just leaves the viewer feeling like, what, oh my God, where is this going? Like, what am I seeing, huh? So whatever chemical that does in the brain, it's like, opening up the brain to new ideas, to seeing things differently, to, to questioning, to having a self-awareness of normal, not normal. In your mind, it is really, really good. What's also great about Yorgos's film is, like many other films, you know, there's a scene that happens, it sets a scene, and you're like, what's going on? Who's this about? So that kind of question remains all the way throughout Yorgos's um, stories in this film, but it's not confusing. And that's something I find I'm often confused about. I'll be dead honest. I didn't have sustained attention all throughout the film. There were a couple of moments, like when it goes from one part of the story to another part where I kind of let go, I was really able to come back onto the ride and I'm usually that person in a film's like, who said what, what happened? Like, can I confirm X? This one I didn't need to. And it, at the end, this, the story spells itself out. You, you can understand now what's going on. It's not really confusing. So in a way it kind of makes sense. But then in that, as I say, as a metaphor, window within a window, it doesn't really make sense. It's quite strange and weird, just completely creative and, and different on a level that is different, like just, the sheer imagination of multitudes of possibilities and, and realities are just, yeah, hats off to the writers. Very creative, great imagination. Really glad I saw the film. Um, will I rush to see another of his films? Not right now, but I will definitely be keeping an eye out for the next one and potentially happy to view a past one as well. So hope this was helpful. Maybe you had the same kind of ideas or thoughts um, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.